everybody and thank you for tuning in to a new episode of the last act of summer <laughs> sorry i meant the last day of summer i am aware that last time i said that new episode would be longer and fully packed with changes but as you have probably seen from the lack of videos i've been pretty busy lately so i thought i would share this little piece of progress Last time I introduced the inventory system for the game which is based on a non-game object dependent class with a simple dictionary to store the content. The system flexibility makes it really extensible and versatile and although it's pretty much done at this point, there are two additions I want to make. Firstly, item pickups. If the game is gonna be based on the exploration of the valley, the player should be able to pick up stuff along the way. And secondly, I need to do something about how the UI looks. If your eye is particularly well trained, you might have noticed that it looks like shit, so I got no time to lose. Extending the inventory with an item pickup system is going to rely on the interaction system that lies below the dialogue and various triggers I got in the game. The interaction system is a slightly updated third-person port of the one from this tutorial I made a while ago, but to avoid you the trouble of checking it out, here's how it works. Interactable objects all implement a base interactive interface that provides the methods to engage with the player's interaction controller, which will in turn keep track of what object the player should be interacting with. So what I have to do is simply create a new item pickup component and give it a reference to the item it should provide a player with upon interaction. I'm using some colorful spheres graphics for now, and I worry about getting proper models when I actually know what kind of items I want the player to be able to pick up. All is working, this one was pretty straightforward. Now let's go on to the UI work that, as you might remember, I hate doing. Last time I left the UI of the inventory system looking like a grey stain in the middle of the screen, but now it's time to do something about it. I decided I'll try to make the UI hand drawn instead of using Photoshop and Illustrator to make it, so I picked up Procreate and started sketching. I made up my mind on the layout I wanted to have and got the base colors and line work down. Then I added some shading and details and here we are. It was not an extremely long process but for sure the 30 second time lapse does not do it justice. Anyway, let me put it in the game, fix the layering, adjust its size and the layout elements and it's done! I'm still not sure about a couple of elements, namely the detail window and the background to the item cards, but for the moment they will do. If you've been following the community posts here on YouTube or my Twitter, you might have noticed that I actually made some progress on the art style for the game and modeled few assets, like buildings and props. I've also added back environment details in the game like pebbles, sticks and flowers that have been missing for a while now. This is how the game's looking now, I'm quite happy about it, but I will admit I'm still playing around with the various aspects of it to find the perfect art direction. That was it, thank you so much for watching and if you have any thoughts, ideas or suggestions, feel free to share them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing and stay tuned because I got a good one cooking. This said, I've been Pita, you've been an amazing audience, and in case you decide to stick around, see you next time.